terrestrials and extraterrestrials alike. I don't know why I'm waving my hands like this. Oh my god. This is Desmotes and Velicor. I am Kim, and today we're going to be talking about the upcoming 2018 books that you might not have heard of that I am super psyched about. Two things. First of all, I have not read any of these books. All of the descriptions come from Goodreads and are only plausibly correct. And second thing, I had like a 25 book long list that was like upcoming reads that I'm really excited for, but 25 is way too many for a video, so I narrowed it down to 15, which is so much better. I'm going to try and keep each book under 30 seconds, I'm going to put the cover and the release date and then I'm going to talk about it, and it's going to be grand. Wish me luck! <laughs> First up is Ink, Iron, and Glass by Gwendolyn Clare. By the time I upload this video, this book will have already come out, so definitely check it out and tell me what you think. Elsa's mother is the scriptologist that created the world that they live in, and when she's kidnapped, Elsa must use her own scriptology gifts to get her back. This world-hopping adventure unveils a deep political conspiracy, and Elsa is going to have to choose. Guys, it has literal world building. How can I resist this? State of Sorrow by Melinda Salisbury is coming out March 1st. I'm going to steal the description straight from Goodreads on this one because it's like weirdly nuanced and I had a lot of trouble paraphrasing it. Sorrow all that rules the Court of Tears, a land gripped by perpetual grief, forever mourning her brother who died just a few days before Sorrow was born. This is a twisty, possibly fey, story of civil war. How can I not be into that? Next up is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. It comes out March 6th and it's a West African inspired fantasy. Zaley's mother is dead and magic is in danger. To save the rich magical life of her land, she must make alliances, outwit and outrun a cruel enemy, and learn to control her own volatile powers. The magic in this book sounds like it's similar to the Grisha trilogy, and I'm just really into Lee Verdugo, so I'm so excited for this book. Blood Water Paint by Joy McCullough also comes out March 6th. This is a novel based on the life of Artemisia Gentilici. Now if you don't know who Artemisia Gentilici is, I, no I'm totally kidding, I didn't know who she was either until this beautiful Tumblr post popped up and rather effusively educated me via many expletives about her life and her art. Artemisia Gentilici was one of the best painters in Rome in 1610, and to this day a lot of her art is still falsely attributed to her father. And I just really want to read a novel about her, like seriously look her up, she's awesome. Next up is The Heart Forger by Rin Pecco coming out March 20th. I just did a review on The Bone Witch, so check that out, but oh my goodness. This is the second book in The Bone Witch series. Taya is preparing to wage war. Her mastery over death makes her a high-value target to those who wish to live forever. I fully expect Rinch Pecco to deliver a dark, rich, brutal fantasy about love and war and death and revenge. Next up is The Queens of Innis Lear by Tessa Grattan, coming out March 27th. The three daughters of a prophecy-obsessed king with dwindling mental acuity, must prepare to defend their father's domain from dangers without and within. Magic, politics, and an uncertain line of succession count me in. <laughs> Arusha and the End of Time by Roshani Chakshi coming out March 27th as well. 12-year-old Arusha has a wild imagination and a lot of time to kill, so she makes up stories about all the fabulous adventures she totally had over summer break. But when her classmates try to catch her in a lie, she lights a lamp that she probably shouldn't have, and maybe just a little bit releases a demon. This is the first book in a quartet, which means we get four more books by Roshani Chakshi. <laughs> and honestly, I will read anything this woman has written. Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young comes out April 24th. A young warrior of her tribe, Aelin must work with the enemy to bring their tribes together to survive against an attack from a clan thought to exist only in legend. I'm, I'm sorry, does anyone else think that sounds absolutely incredible because I'm so excited. <laughs> the Map of Salt and Stars by Jennifer Zainab Jokadar. Well, it comes out May 1st, and it tells the parallel stories of Noor in Syria summer 2011 and Rowia 800 years earlier. The two women go on a journey following the same route, both seeking the ever-receding idea of home. This is the author's debut novel, and it sounds immersive and rich and complex and poignant. And while it is a little outside my genre, I'm still really excited to read it. A Thousand Beginnings and Endings, 
edited by Ellen O. Oh. This is an anthology of reimagined South and East Asian mythology and fairy tales. And it's got 15 best-selling authors. 15? 13? I'm unclear on the number. But each individual story is written by a best-selling author. Renee Adier, Rishani Shakshi. This is where we insert the My Body is Ready gif. Like, if I could dead drop, I would. <laughs> Trial of Lightning by Rebecca Roanhorse comes out June 26th. It is a post-apocalyptic reimagining of Navajo mythology, and it follows Maggie Hosky, a super-powered monster hunter who is about to get in way over her head. I don't know a lot about Native American mythology, but I'm really excited for an Own Voices novelization that's not how Raven stole the sun. Next up is These Rebel Waves by Sarah Raish. Rosh? I think it's Rosh. It comes out August 7th. The kingdom of Grace the Ray is still picking up the pieces after its bloody emancipation from its oppressor, Argrid. Taking place five years after the revolution, this story follows three different individuals from different walks of life as they all work to keep a fragile peace. Magic, politics, and consequences. As we know, these are my bread and butter. And last but not least is Blanca and Roja by Anna Marie McLe McLemore? There's a capitalized L in the middle of that. We're just, we're just gonna move on. Um, it comes out October 9th. <laughs> I've heard it described as a snow white rose red meets Swan Lake with some magical realism and possibly queerness. I haven't read Wild Beauty, but apparently this author is gunning to break all of our hearts. That's it, that's the list. Come talk to me about books. I really wanna know what you guys are looking forward to and if you're looking forward to the books that I'm looking forward to. And yeah, come talk to me about books. <laughs> Abby and Bill.